Hello, ladies and gents. Earthlings! I got a goofy one. Well, I think something here needs to be said about this. Um, look at the screen right here. Okay, y'all know Q, who Q is, right? Right. And if you don't, um, you better go figure it out if you want to understand this. Um, this was from the other day. It was one of the last things he, she, um, this composite group of intelligence supposedly rumored to have said, okay? We went too deep, attempted a pullback, not ready, Q, okay? Now, I'm going to come full circle and come back to this, but I want you to remember this. Keep that in your head right there. This little QAnon last bit he said the other day. All right, now check this out. <clears throat> watching the random, I'm watching the random Rants of Ryan channel, which I do like. I, I like the kid. Um, I do. I think he's honest. That's why. Um, all these different people, you know, being accused of being a shill or being this or being that, and you know, George Webb deleted his original videos and then said. Uh, the government did it or YouTube did it. But even though he confessed to doing it himself prior to, you know, him getting all those followers. That's just an example. Um, but I do like uh, Ryan. I think he's a little, uh, he's honest, you know, he's, he's snide. Um, every now and then it pisses me off. But, you know, you can't love everybody all the time. And I do like him because I do think he's honest. So here's what was going on. And this is, um, I'm watching his channel. You know, catching up on some triple aw, triple aw. Um, and he was talking about being kicked off of YouTube, right? And like I said, I'm going to bring this full circle back to uh, QAnon. Well, first things first is Rex Tillerson replaced by CA Mike Pompeo. Deep I think that was done for the North Korea thing, and he didn't mention that the CIA director was replaced with a woman for the first time ever and i think that should have been noted in his video here um not that it has anything to do with anything just um you know there's more to the mike pompeo thing you could look at it like he wanted to get him away from the cia put him in a, a ambassador ambassador framework and put one of his people into the cia or someone he knew better that's how you could look at the trump Tillerson firing in the uh, the role reversal switchover that they did just just today actually or yesterday now, um, but he was saying how he will Ryan was saying how he'll probably be kicked off of YouTube. Here, let's check it out. Alternative media figures still left on YouTube. There ain't a lot of us. Um... Actually, there is a lot of us. I mean, you you know, I mean, I, I could run down. I mean, who, who really got kicked off? Defango, who's kind of shady, and I don't. He might even have his channel back. Um, uh, David Seaman, you know, wishy washy, but he's good for PizzaGate because PizzaGate is one hundred percent real. You know, and more needs to be said about that. And the Titus Frost thing. I heard Titus is getting his channel back, but what do I know? Okay. Anyways, I'll let it continue. So I think a lot of these guys got their channels back, um, you know, by my count. But, you know, like I said, I'm not Count Dracula, so. I don't know why she's not gone. I don't know why I'm not gone. I have no idea. I don't even have a strike. I can still live stream. It's incredible. Okay, he doesn't even have a strike. Well, I have strikes. You know, I, I had Vegas videos, uh, Vegas video deleted on this channel. You know, I got the pink slip from them. And, and when I went to... Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, debate it. I can't think of the word, you know. D debate the strike uh, or petition the strike. Nothing happened. It's, it wouldn't let me do anything. It was like, your video's gone. You got a strike. Uh, shut your mouth and deal with it. That's basically what had happened with me because I was showing uh, Las Vegas shooting coverage and how the whole thing there is rigged, you know. I mean, there's people with their cell phones on the goddamn Mandalay Bay the whole time, and you don't see one muzzle flash coming from anywhere near Paddock's room. And it's all dark there, okay? And then you could get into there's not enough brass, the pitchers inside of the room, you know, there's 
There's absolutely no brass. There's no shell casings for the rounds, amount of rounds he fired, which you could hear, you know, which, you know, were recorded by people. Anyways, um, I, here's the thing. He will, I don't think you will get kicked off of uh, YouTube. Like you said, you don't even have a strike, so you can still live stream. And it has to do with, once again, Q. He's not really, and that's fine, you know, that's his business. Uh, Triple R is not reporting on Q, okay? Now think about this for a second. Um, yes, he does a lot of great Pizzagate coverage, uh, Ryan does here, but he doesn't report on Q, and he doesn't report on, um, what was the other one? Uh, oh, come on. Uh, I almost don't want to say it. Sa Sandy, Sandy Hook, so you know what I'm saying. Sandy Hook and uh, what does everybody call them? Crisis actors. That's a thing. You don't get the crisis actor, Sandy Hook, alternative point of view here. And that's fine. And and Triple R also doesn't report on Q. And a lot of people like Anti Schools, another one I forgot, reported on Q. But he also reported on, you know, Sandy Hook and uh, paid actors and um, crisis actors. Okay. Now, and this, this, this is when everything came to me. It was like... Bam, you know, getting hit with a bucket of water in the face like uh, Tim Roth was talking about in Reservoir Dogs when he's telling that bullshit story about him being in the bathroom with uh, four canine cops, right? And he's got smoke or something on him. Right, so like I was saying, um, it hits me that maybe this whole QAnon thing that split, we'll call it the truth community, down the middle, right? This whole entire thing is a prefabricated attack itself on YouTube via QAnon to actually kill off alternative media huh i mean think about that for a second right now this is how it would work all right um this guy puts all this stuff on youtube to get everybody you know what do they call it taking the red pill or whatever the hell they call it it's like you know i was in the fucking bigfoot in fifth fucking grade you know secret government you know that's fucking my disrotation or whatever for when i graduated fucking high school and social studies class um but to wake people up and to get them to put out these crisis actor videos and all this other stuff so youtube can be and or act offended by it to delete these alternative media accounts you know right get these kicked off of youtube and it's all due to Q itself, right? So everybody thinking Q is, you know, he's one of us and, you know, he's trying to get the bad guys and, you know, we're, we're going to reach Pizzagate eventually and fucking James Alphonse, who's, uh, you know, as guilty as guilty gets is, is you know, going to go down, you know, proverbially, right? Um, you see what I'm saying? And the whole Q thing would be a setup. It's a setup, essentially. It's a setup to... To kill off alternative media. It's a total 100% prefabricated chill trick. Right? And in the very end, everybody's like, Q, oh, what's Q? All Q does is put up a message like the one we're seeing right here, like he had the other day. Oops, went too deep. Got to back off. Um, uh, we're going to need another presidency term to get this all solved. Uh, keep striving, my fellow patriots, you know, and all that shit, right? Because he has such a, or because they, Q has such a following. I mean, I just thought that was weird. The whole Q thing could really be a deep state trick, right? To get people thinking, to get people to make the videos, to get people to get kicked off of YouTube, to kill off alternative media. You know? 
I mean, it's 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 probably not likely, but that's plausible. I mean, that's a Q scenario I have yet to hear, right? Because I'm because sometimes I'm with it, sometimes I'm against it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because that this guy could really just or these people could really just say that one day in one of their Q drops. You know, oops, we went too far. Need to back off for two years. You know, and the guy just disappears, and then he comes back. Well, we're gonna need another term, and um. We almost got it done last time, guys. Good job. Um, let's start it up again. Um, you know, here's some plane shots from fucking Rothschild Mansion in fucking Bohemia or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just thought that was a scenario nobody's talking about. And I think that needed to be mentioned, hence why I made this fucking video. And that's a five-fold understanding right there. Bringing it back full circle. And just a side note, um, uh, end up in Trump's, for example, the last speech Trump gave at signs, um, I think promises made, promises kept, or something, the signs were, were, were up in front of the podium, and that was posted in a QN on post, I think three or four days ago. You know, just be clear, I'm not saying Q, you know, I'm not saying Q isn't real, I'm not saying Q isn't a good guy. I'm just saying that's a strange scenario I came up with. It's and it all came from watching, uh, you know, uh, goofball here's videos. Um, <laughs> you know, I guess pretty much that's that. Um, I'll tell you that, like I was saying, you know, it's a fivefold understanding right here. Um, we get booted, we get looted. The saga continues. We already went over that. You're all good, brother. Um, I've got people tweeting me left and right here saying, uh, oh, God, I'm being kicked off YouTube. Oh, God, help me. I've been on YouTube. We can tell your fans I've been kicked off YouTube. You know, da, 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 da. So. Well, tell us who's being kicked off. I mean, you know, give the guy a shout out. Come, God damn it, you know. God damn it, man. Show a little respect for your followers. But uh, seriously, you know, that's what's going on. Um, how have you guys been? What's in your minds right now? But yeah, thanks for helping me put my hypothesis together. Outside of that, we're just a bunch of dark, dark nights fighting in the shadows. Check this flashback clip out. And P.S. Stay tuned. Uh, coming soon, I should say. I'm going to get this uh, Batman 700 Legacy issue up on comics and colloquy pretty darn quick for anybody looking forward to it. I personally can't wait. Until then, folks, you know what we say here. The saga continues.